about to share with you my video of one day in Kosovo. I obviously wish that I had way more time, but this was just like a long weekend that I took from work in the Balkans. I'm so happy all the things that I got to see, different from my last visit to Kosovo. So can't wait to show you. Here you go. This mountain Jalisa name. Jalisa? Yes. It's beautiful. 2740 meters. Wow. Good morning from Albania. I am now leaving the cute little village of Kukas here and I'm on my way to spend the day in Kosovo. I'm going to try and see Prizren and Pristina. I went to Kosovo once in 2013, but only for a day also. Uh, so now I'm excited to go see it again, hoping to show you guys some of the more beautiful things and things that I am excited to see. Prison is like the cutest little city. I wish that I knew more about it before I came. I definitely would have wanted to hang out a little bit more. That's definitely fun. Just walking in and out of the small little streets, finding different churches and stuff. I am on top of the fortress in Prison. It is an incredible view down into the city. I love the blue of the sky and the red of all the roofs and the green mountains. And the air up here is amazing. You can see some mosques down there, some churches as well. It was a nice little steep hike to get up here. Definitely worth it. This is the beautiful Sinan Pasha Mosque in Prizren, Kosovo. I just prayed a couple rakat here. I always love praying in new mosques, my first time in Kosovo and doing so in places that are so beautiful definitely, I think, bring me closer to the divine. Still on top of the fortress, I'm gonna go down and then we are going to head this way to that little road, how do you do it? Little road right there into the mountains, into the border with Macedonia. I think it's gonna be stunning. It's such a beautiful day out. I can't wait to show you and see myself. a little bit so that I could get a good view. Amazing mountains behind me, a valley down there. Honestly, I don't know what I expected from Kosovo. It's way better. I love having like no real set plan when I travel because for example, like I didn't even know that I was gonna come here just this morning. I like gave an itinerary to like the taxi driver and he's like, actually, it would be way better if you did this and like went through the mountains instead of through the city. And I was like, all right, and look where we are. Look how amazing it is. It's like, it's good to like plan a little bit, like know what you're getting yourself into, like try and figure out like what you want to see. But at the same time, it can be really nice. Just have no idea. Just show up and be surprised. Today has been such a pleasant surprise. I had no idea how nice Prizren was going to be. I had no idea that I was even coming to the mountains, so this is a huge surprise as well. 
I love it. Great job. I'm in the no man's land between Kosovo and the Republic of North Macedonia, the name of which just changed. Soon now across the border, I'll be back in the land of the sunny flag. Honestly, the Balkans have been giving me so much joy. Not only is it like beautiful here, but I really feel like the past year I've been getting way better at, like traveling how I want to like seeing what I want to see like doing what I want to do and just really like making it my own um, so lately all of my trips have just filled field really fulfilled so super happy about that I think that part of the reason why I'm a better traveler now is that I'm like returning to everywhere like I there's less pressure um, and like stress to like see and do stuff because I like know I can go back I have been going back um, and even though I'm going to new places, like new cities, it's still really, really fun um, to like feel somewhat familiar everywhere that I am. What is Kosovo? Is it a country? Is it part of another country? What type of nation is it? A lot of people would say it's independent. Some people would say it's part of Serbia. Some people would say it's part of Albania. Uh, there's a lot of questions around this beautiful place. Um, and it's a really interesting thing to think about. And depending on who you ask, they'll have totally totally different opinions to a citizen of Kosovo. It can be whatever you want it to be, like your identity is whatever you want. If you feel more Albanian, if you feel Serbian, if you feel Kosovo, like that's your prerogative to do. In terms of like international recognition, obviously there's some limitations because of the, the ongoing like disagreement with Serbia. And so that's why it's like limited from being considered a country in terms of like a UN member because it's not recognized by everybody because there's still uh, conflict with Serbia as to whether it's Albania um, you know like that's a more of like a cultural identity claim I don't think that in terms of like borders and sovereignty it'll it'll become part of Albania uh, in the near future it's definitely separate uh, in that way politically I hope that you guys loved my day in Kosovo as much as I did if you like this subscribe comment down below uh, like contact me on Instagram or wherever and yeah, I hope that everybody will travel safe.